The Big Bang Hypothesis, once the cornerstone of modern cosmology, is now under increasing scrutiny due to groundbreaking data from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST. A remarkable discovery has sent shockwaves through the scientific community, potentially redefining our understanding of the universe itself. The most recent image captured by the JWST is not only visually breathtaking, it has presented compelling evidence that challenges long-standing assumptions. Experts are astonished, and many debates that once seemed speculative are now being confronted with hard data. The image directly addresses one of the most persistent puzzles in astrophysics, the true age of the universe and the rate at which it is expanding. Cosmologists have long sought to answer fundamental questions. How did the universe begin? How does it operate? How has it evolved? And ultimately, how might it end? Over the past century, the field has made incredible progress. The prevailing model, the Big Bang Theory, posits that the universe has been expanding for approximately 13.8 billion years, originating from an incredibly hot and dense singularity. Central to this model is the Hubble constant, which describes the expansion rate of the universe. But calculating it is far from straightforward, and two major methods are used. The first is a local measurement approach involving standard candles, like Cepheid variables and type Ia supernovae. These celestial bodies emit predictable light, allowing astronomers to estimate their distance and deduce the universe's rate of expansion. The second method looks much further back in time, by analyzing the cosmic microwave background radiation, CMB, a faint glow left over from the early universe. This light, first discovered in 1965, dates to a time just 380,000 years after the Big Bang. By examining minute fluctuations in the CMB's temperature and polarization, scientists have been able to infer the universe's age and expansion behavior. However, there's a significant problem. These two approaches don't yield the same results. Local measurements suggest a faster rate of expansion than what CMB-derived data indicates. This mismatch, known as the Hubble tension, has led scientists to question whether a fundamental piece of the cosmological puzzle is missing. Here's where the JWST becomes crucial. It allows us to see deeper into the universe than ever before, uncovering galaxies, elements, and structures once thought impossible to detect. Scientists hope this new perspective would help resolve the Hubble tension. Yet the telescope's first wave of data has only complicated matters. Instead of confirming existing theories, the findings raise even more questions. Are we witnessing a new chapter in physics? Must we re-evaluate our entire cosmological framework? Could we be on the brink of discovering new particles, forces, or interactions? Perhaps dark energy, the mysterious force behind the accelerating expansion of the universe, is even more complex than we thought. Each discovery pushes the boundaries of what we know. For instance, when the CMB was discovered in the 1960s, it solidified support for the Big Bang Theory. Before that, many believed the universe expanded at a constant rate and would persist indefinitely. Then came the late 1990s, when astronomers realized that not only was the universe expanding, it was accelerating. This led to the introduction of dark energy, which still remains one of the most puzzling forces in physics. This continuous cycle of discovery and re-evaluation is how science advances. It demands that we refine our models and confront anomalies head-on. The Hubble tension is just one such anomaly, one that is now being examined with unprecedented tools. Closely related to this is the structure-age tension, which deals with how matter is distributed throughout the cosmos. Some regions are densely packed with galaxies, while others are vast, empty voids. Scientists map this structure by observing how massive clusters bend light from distant galaxies, a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. This technique also provides insights into dark matter, an invisible substance that exerts gravitational effects but emits no light. Yet here again, we encounter inconsistency. The patterns observed in today's universe don't fully align with what we'd expect based on early universe models. The CMB data suggests a smoother, more uniform distribution of matter, while current gravitational lensing observations reveal more pronounced irregularities. 
This disparity implies we may be missing something fundamental. Thanks to JWST's infrared precision, researchers like Dr. Rice and his team have been able to revisit previous data with renewed clarity. They even hoped the discrepancies were due to errors in older measurements, such as those from the Hubble Space Telescope. But JWST confirmed the same anomalies, suggesting the issue lies deeper within our theories themselves. The telescope's ability to observe galaxies formed just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang is reshaping our understanding of cosmic evolution. Contrary to long-held beliefs, early galaxies appear far more massive and mature than previously predicted. This suggests either galaxies formed much faster than expected, or that the physics governing the early universe is in need of serious revision. One emerging idea is that the standard model of cosmology, called the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM, model, might need adjustments. This model includes two core components, Cold Dark Matter, CDM, and a cosmological constant, Lambda, which represents dark energy. But some scientists now believe that dark energy might not be constant. It may vary over time or interact dynamically with dark matter, something current models do not account for. A dynamic form of dark energy, often referred to as quintessence, might explain some of the discrepancies in cosmic expansion rates. Meanwhile, others are exploring entirely different theories, such as modified Newtonian dynamics, MOND, or scalar tensor models, that question Einstein's general relativity at cosmic scales. These alternative frameworks attempt to explain cosmic phenomena like lensing and structure formation without requiring dark matter or dark energy. Though controversial and not yet widely accepted, these theories represent the scientific community's openness to challenge old assumptions in light of compelling new evidence. Beyond the large-scale structure of the universe, JWST is also revolutionizing our understanding of smaller-scale systems, like exoplanets. Its ability to analyze the atmospheres of planets orbiting distant stars, particularly those in habitable zones, could provide vital clues about the building blocks of life. The chemical fingerprints detected in these atmospheres also inform us about the distribution of elements across the cosmos. Another vital piece of the cosmic puzzle is inflation, a rapid burst of expansion thought to have occurred fractions of a second after the Big Bang. This theory explains the universe's smoothness over large scales, despite immense distances. But the mechanisms behind inflation remain purely theoretical. JWST may help test inflationary models by analyzing patterns in early galaxy distributions or detecting unexpected clustering that standard models can't explain. Simultaneously, physicists are pursuing the unification of quantum mechanics and general relativity, an elusive goal in theoretical physics. A successful theory of quantum gravity could completely transform how we view the universe's earliest moments, even challenging the notion of the Big Bang itself. Concepts like string theory and loop quantum gravity are leading candidates, though experimental evidence remains scarce. Together, these developments, from JWST observations to revised theoretical models, point to a profound truth. Our understanding of the cosmos is evolving faster than ever before. Each answer raises new questions, and every new tool reveals hidden complexities. The James Webb Space Telescope has not just added detail to the cosmic story, it has rewritten entire chapters. As future missions like the Euclid Space Telescope and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory come online, our ability to map the universe will only improve. These instruments will offer complementary insights, from dark energy and dark matter to the large-scale structure of the cosmos. Until then, the tension between competing measurements of the universe's expansion, and the staggering implications of those discrepancies, will continue to drive innovation and debate. What lies ahead may not just redefine our understanding of the universe's past. It could completely reshape how we imagine its future.